uh, intestinal cells or muscle cells or blood cells or immune cells, whatever. Any cell can become malnourished and weakened once the garage door opener is not working. Once insulin, sens uh, insulin insensitivity occurs, that's what metabolic syndrome is. It's insulin insensitivity and it, any health condition can follow. Doctors will tell you that the most common features of metabolic syndrome are heart disease, cardiovascular disease, strokes, heart attacks, hypertension, kidney disease. Have you noticed there's an epidemic of kidney disease? Kidney disease is a manifestation of metabolic syndrome. And there's so many kidneys that are getting yanked out. And there's so many people on dialysis. There's so many people suffering. They go to the doctor. And the kidney is incredibly important uh, working in the body. You got two of them for that reason. If you have any kidney issues and your doctor has not told you about the link to metabolic syndrome, find some, another doctor or tell him to listen to this program. Kidney disease is metabolic syndrome. It's, it's blood sugar problems. The kidneys filter the blood. And sugar is a poison in the blood. And sugar accumulates and sugar damages things, especially damages the blood. Elevated blood sugar is part of metabolic syndrome. Obesity is part of uh, elevated blood sugar. Elevated blood cholesterol, I'm sorry, metabolic syndrome. And elevated blood cholesterol is also part of metabolic syndrome. Eh, eh, blood cholesterol issues are sugar issues. Like kidney disease is a sugar issue and nobody treats it as such. Blood cholesterol, elevated blood cholesterol is a sugar issue and nobody treats it as such. Or very few people treat it as such. Even doctors know that elevated cholesterol is a classic sign of metabolic syndrome and messed up insulin sensitivity, but for some reason they have not made that link. This is what I've been telling you guys for over 20 years, that elevated cholesterol equals elevated blood sugar and still people are taking their statin drugs and they're having their blood cholesterol tested and they're freaking out because of high cholesterol. It's a sugar issue. It's an insulin resistance issue. It's a sign of metabolic syndrome. This is so important because it puts the control over our health back in our bodies, back in our laps. We become powerful again in terms of how we handle our bodies in terms of getting healthy, in terms of protecting our heart, in terms of protecting our, our blood, in terms of protecting our liver, in terms of getting off of drugs, in terms of not having to interface with doctors in the medical model, when we understand the link between sugar and all of these diseases, and sugar is just one example of how much control we have over our health, certainly exercise and breathing, all the things we talk about here on this program. So if you want to lower your cholesterol the way it's supposed to be lowered, at the causal level, from cause, uh, by, by, by addressing the cause of elevated blood cholesterol, you want to improve insulin sensitivity. This is how you handle metabolic syndrome. All the issues I just talked about, cardiovascular issues, heart disease, strokes, blood sugar issues, kidney disease, obesity, cholesterol, pretty much a who's who of all the things we suffer from in this country, including weight gain issues that everybody's going to be obsessed with and here in about two weeks. You're going to see all kinds of commercials and all kinds of marketing pushes for weight loss formulas and weight loss pills and weight loss programs and Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig and reduce your sugar intake, resensitize your body to insulin and you'll improve liver health and brain function and cardiovascular health too. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back with more good health information and you and your phone calls at 844-236-6010 right after this. Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. All our programs are archived at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you can also go to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including truth serum, truth balm, omega-6 healing cream, which is awesome for sunburns, any burn, any broken skin, really diaper rash even, eczema, psoriasis, not psoriasis so much, but eczema, any broken skin or wounded skin. That's truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com for our Truth Skin Health products. Okay, we're talking about, uh, well, we'll get to your phone calls here in just a sec. A couple more things I want to say about metabolic syndrome, lowering your cholesterol, blood fats. The most important strategy, there's lots of important strategies, but the most important strategy is caloric restriction 
eating less sugar and starches and using nutritional supplements for blood sugar. If you have any signs of metabolic syndrome, including elevated cholesterol or kidney disease, kidney disease you want to improve insulin sensitivity. And by the way, that's where fasting comes in and it, caloric restriction, restricting your calories, not eating so many calories. Yes, calories count. Calories are heat. And the body doesn't like heat. The body is always trying to run cool, not hot. Hot is for infections. Hot is emergency. Hot is a sign of sympathetic emergency nervous system activation. Hot flashes, for example, are a sign of emergency system activations. Calories are heat. The body has to cool things down when it's hot, and that takes work, and that takes nutrients. Calories represent work. Fasting, caloric restriction, eating less sugar, which is also heat-inducing, by the way, sugar is, and using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, your Sweeties, your B vitamins, and vitamin E. All of these are great strategies for helping improve insulin sensitivity. Talk about, uh, talk about the liver tomorrow, liver health. That's another place where vitamin E shines if you're dealing with liver. By the way, if you, do you know that uh, if, you're on a, if you're taking a prescription drug, do you know your liver is doing the work to clear that thing? And if you have liver disease and you're on a prescription drug, what is that saying? Why would anybody take a prescription drug when they have liver disease? 100 million Americans have liver disease, and many of them are taking prescription drugs, which puts more burden on the liver. How can a medical professional put somebody on a drug or a medication or a multiple drugs, polypharmacy, when they got liver disease? That's my beef with, with prescription drugs. Not that occasionally they're not necessary, but staying on a prescription drug, you don't even hear about that as a side effect, but that's one of the side effects is liver issues. Because the liver's got to do the work to clear that thing out. And, oh, by the way, guess what? It takes nutrients. If you're on a prescription drug, you're burning through vitamin C. You're burning through vitamin E. You're burning through your mighty 90 essential nutrients. If you're on a prescription drug, that's an extra reason, especially if you're on polypharmacy, multiple prescription drugs. That's an extra important reason to make sure you're on the mighty 90 essential nutrients. If you know somebody on prescription drugs, give them the gift of Beyond Tangy Tangerine for Christmas. Everybody should be giving the gift of Beyond Tangy Tangerine for Christmas, especially for folks who are on multiple medications or, or for people in nursing homes or dealing with metabolic syndrome or just for people who want to be healthy. Okay, time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. Sarah in Massachusetts, welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. What's up? Um, sorry, I wish my question were more specifically about your metabolic disorder topic or vitamin E, but it was actually more of a general question. That's fine. Um, you, don't, you don't need, it doesn't have to be on topic. I'm here to help you. Okay. What's going on? Well, my husband and I had heard you on Coast to Coast a few nights ago. It might have even been last week. And um, he was really, really, really inspired, not nice. just by your message that you were speaking about, but actually by you, by your attitude. He said you seem very pure. And he, well, I think you really, might be... I think you might be thinking of Dr. Wallach, though. I wasn't on Coast to Coast last week. That was Dr. Wallach. Is that who you're thinking? Um, I don't want to take credit I, for Doc. I don't know. He had, he said that it was you, Pharmacist okay. Ben Fuchs. Okay. Well, then know, go ahead. It could have been a, then, you know what it, it could last have been week, like, Yeah, last week was Doc, and I was on about a month ago. I'm on pretty much every five or six weeks. But anyway, what's sorry, going on? How can we help you? Oh, sorry. Um, hang on. Let me just get in the fresh air here. Oh. Anyway, well, maybe it was a, it could have, no, hold on, I just don't want to be in there for one minute, sweetie. Um, sorry. Well, perhaps it was a rerun. <laughs> it could have been, anyway, okay. basically what you were really, what he said you were really speaking about was the importance of any type of, you know, enlightened, uh, self-sustaining, positive lifestyle, the importance of that we'd pass on to our children. That, that and, was me. That yeah, okay, me. so yes. I, I thought so. I mean, it's possible it was longer ago than I'm realizing, too. But anyway, my question is simply, he and I are extremely interested in just kind of forming more of like a network with people that think like that, that are like-minded, mm -hmm. that are mm -hmm. into pooling gifts and resources and kind of awesome. bringing about that that new society, if you will, emerging. I love it, of, Sarah. Kind of How old are you, Sarah? Are you a I'm youngster? Uh, I'm no, I'm small. I mean, maybe I'm 30 years old. <laughs> yes, you are a youngster. You're the new generation that's going to save the world. 
because we're, we messed it up. My generation, our generation. So good, good for you. I encourage that. I encourage young. Mm-hmm. I notice that a lot of folks, and, and you don't see, you don't feel like you're young, but you know, I'm, I'm almost twice as old as you, and I, and I can tell you, you're very, very young. And it's your generation that has really noticed. I, I've noticed, and I, you know, I, I deal with, I talk to 30 year olds all the time. I've noticed that your generation is sick of the baloney. That's what the bright side's mm-hmm. about, and that's why you connect with mm-hmm. my message. Is because we're all sick of the bull crap that is fed to us at every turn from the political world to the, the, uh, the world of the legal system and, and government and doctors. and It's just polluted and disgusting. And you guys are sick of it. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. Did I... Absolutely. Okay. Well, congratulations. I want to help. How, how can we help you today specifically? Well, I, I, I guess, I mean, if it could be answered specifically, I was just wondering what you know, advice or suggestions you might have for where I could go. What, what do you do for a living, Sarah? Um, I actually am just a stay-at-home mom right now. My husband works at a restaurant. Okay. But, uh, uh, so here's what maybe, you do. Here's what oh, yeah. you do. Here's what you yeah. do. Get start. Uh, get on your computer and print up some posters, uh, and, <laughs> and and have a video night once a week or once a month or every couple of weeks where you show a video. And you invite people to your home, or you rent a room in the library if you like, or sometimes there's free meeting rooms. And you take the ball, you take the initiative, and you put posters up and say, we're doing a free video on something enlightening for people. Once Mm -hmm. a week, you know what I'm saying? Once a week, once a month, whatever. And you can just start off with your friends. Just start off with three Mm -hmm. or four friends if you want. But you get the ball rolling. And this is the way movements begin. You get the ball rolling. You got to take the first step in any kind of change or any kind of project that you want to initiate. You got to get the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? You got to take that first step. And the first step for you, if you want to connect people up, or anybody listening who wants to connect people up, as Sarah's saying, and form a network, is invite people into your home or into a room that you've rented where you're hosting an event. You follow me? Uh Where you're becoming Uh a resource. Because most people aren't going to do that. You're one of the few people that's even motivated to do that. So that means just because you're motivated to do that, that almost like you have a responsibility to do that. Because most people aren't. So if you feel comfortable having people in your house or you just want to do it with some friends, have have a week weekly video night and only do it uh, and do it no matter who shows up. Even if nobody shows up, you still do it the next week. You follow me? Yeah. Even if nobody shows up the next week, you still do it until one person shows up and then they tell a friend, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And everybody wants to do that. We all love to get together. We're just waiting for somebody to take the ball into their own court and take the initiative and start the ball rolling, so to speak. If you know what I'm saying. Does that make yeah. sense, Sarah? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad you called. Thank you so much. I hope you keep listening Thank to you. the bright side. Take yeah. care. Have a beautiful day. Okay. All right, we'll get your calls if you're on hold. When we come back from our break, we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Tom in Florida. What's going on? Good morning, hey, Ben. Tom. Greetings. What's up, man? Hey, hey man. Um, I'm so happy to talk to you today. It makes my day. I've been listening to you for a while. Oh, thank like you. Like Tangerine. And oh, thank coincidentally, you. my, my uh, father and grandfather were both pharmacists. Oh, no kidding. Where? Oh, in uh, uh, western Kentucky. Really? Little, little pharmacies? Little uh, small town pharmacy kind of thing? Yes, sir. And it's, it's actually good. still in the business. You know, that's funny. That's why I got into pharmacies because I got in, well, I got into it for a couple of reasons, but that, one of the reasons is I got inspired by those small town pharmacies. They just seem so cute and rustic and, and simple. And I was, that was kind of a fantasy of mine when I was in pharmacy schools to go to West Virginia or Western Kentucky or something and work in one of those small town pharmacies with the, oh, yeah. did they have, did they have the soda, the, the soda fountain thing and all that? Yes, sir. It's still in operation. Uh, oh, that is awesome. And you awesome. can look it up. It's I, I will. Bell's Drug Store. Yeah, it's Bell's, Bell's Drugstore in uh, Western Kentucky. Uh-huh. Bell's yeah, Drugstore. Bravo. Yes, sir. Oh, cool. I, de- I definitely will look that up. Thank you, Tom. Wh- what's cooking? What's going on? Well, you know, I called today, um, and I, I've actually, uh, it, it's, it's a very strange uh, type of thing that happens usually in the fall, the winter. It's a skin issue that I have, and it's, it's primarily <clears throat> isolated to the tops of my hands. Interesting. And I'm not sure exactly what, it, and Is it's it- almost like, Yes, sir. Is it like rashy, or is it a pla- Is it like raised up, or is it exposed uh, tissue underneath the surface of the skin, like bloody, t- like pink tissue, or what's it look like? It, it's it's raised and it's a little bit um, okay, daily almost. Okay, like, got and it. it. And it's coinc- 
And it's almost like in a, it's weird because it's, it's kind of scary. I don't know if it's like a parasite or what, but it's like a, a almost like a circular shape, like a small circular shape. And they'll pop up for like maybe a week or two and then they'll just like magically disappear. And then, but it's typically the, you know, in the, uh, the winter months. And even here in Florida, I mean, it's, you know. It's, Where are you in Florida? It, I'm on the East Coast. I'm I'm uh, a New Smyrna Beach, and there's listeners here. I just talked to a guy. I ran into a guy yesterday that listens to your show too. Oh, really? Just randomly?